Good morning, Jimmy, G6IF. Uh, I want to show you my uh, Ultimate 3 from Hans Summers. Uh, it is a Whisper Beacon. Uh, it's a stackable design kit. You have to put it together. Uh, it's got a low, uh, it's got plug-in low-pass filter. The toroids you can see right there. It's a nice display. Uh, it's got many modes, whisper mode, uh, QRSS, it's got uh, the Hellschreiber modes and, and a bunch of other ones. I bought a little uh, GPS module from Adafruit. It takes care of the timing and setting the clock and all that stuff in there and keeping the frequency precise. Uh, I plugged it into my big loop a little while ago here and getting some pretty good propagation reports on 30 meters. Let's show you here. The kit is from Han Summers, the Ultimate 3 uh, kit. Very reasonably priced. Uh, it's not difficult to assemble, but you do need to uh, know how to solder, and it's pretty tiny. Some of that's not surface mount, but everything is close together, so you got to be careful. Take your time. Uh, you can buy different low-pass filters. I've got a 30. And they just plug in uh, through the header there. Uh, I bought a 10 also, but I don't have that yet. It's a very nice, nice kit. A very, very nice kit. Uh, the Adafruit uh, GPS. I went with that because um, it uh, it has a power conversion down to 3.3. I can feed it with 5 volts. The kit runs off 5 volts. So I didn't need to do any uh, external uh, uh, power um, reduction there. This thing will take take in five and it works works great. Um, it also feeds the Ultimate 3 kit with all the timing it needs to be very precise on frequency and time. Whisper is a uh, timed mode. It starts at the top of the minute and it runs for almost two minutes and then it's, it stops. So you need to start and stop at the right time otherwise the, uh, the uh, listeners won't won't decode your signal. If you go out to WhisperNet, uh, here's the stations that are hearing my uh, my beacon. Uh, this is about 120 milliwatts. Uh, as I built it, you can add two more transistors, and you can build it uh, with a, up up a little higher power. But I just used the two transistors that came with it. Uh, you can put in two more and double your power. But I'm about 120 milliwatts, 140 milliwatts. And getting pretty good uh, pretty good range actually. Uh, we had something in Japan hearing me and uh, South Pacific all over the US and up into Canada. So 30 meters uh, whisper mode. Next thing is to figure out what to do with uh, a little 30 meter dipole or something outside there and uh, let it run and then um, you can see what propagation is doing on 30 meters by uh, viewing this web page here which is w uh, let's see wsprnet.org whisper weak signal propagation reporter is what that stands for so uh, having a little fun with my uh, with my birthday present uh, for my son here and uh, yeah, I would uh, recommend if you want to try a try a beacon, that's the way to go. It has many modes, up to 16 different modes it can uh, work with. And uh, so I'm just running the whisper mode right now. And uh, and every two minutes it uh, starts up the sequence. That's adjustable. It's all adjustable. It's very very nicely done. Software is nicely done. The firmware is nicely done. Uh, what else? Uh, and the kit is very very reasonably priced. So. I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing this video, and uh, let me know if you like it. Hit, hit a thumbs up or something, I would appreciate it. This is Jim, AG6IF in Southern California, exploring ham radio. Wow, it's so much to do, so much fun, and uh, I hope you enjoyed. 7-3, have a nice day.